Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you for subscribing. And again, guys, when you subscribe, please hit that bell and then select that all. Thank you, guys. So you'll be notified whenever I post every video, every single post, because I'll be putting out posts in regards to my specials. So you gotta stay tuned for that and you gotta be able to get the messages. So, guys, again, thank you. Thank you for being here today we'll be looking at messages from your guys just to see what it is that your guys wants to tell you want to and give you some encourage on encouragement on if you're headed in the right direction if you're not what you're supposed to do so let's jump in and this would be for the feminine so feminine stay tuned our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come then we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Okay. Wow. Just saw one, 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 and I finish shuffling, and this is what I was left with, guys. So it's like there's something that's going on with us that is coming around full circle. Something that's destined to be. It's destiny. So let's see what they have to say to us. Okay, what's going on with us, Divine Feminines? Let's see what's going on with our situation. And then we'll look at their advice in regards to the situation. Two of Cups in reverse. We're not looking forward to something here. Did I just say the two of cups? I think I did. The page of cups in reverse. <laughs> We're a bit insecure. Either we have been through some disappointment recently are there some disappointment that we are expecting? That is also telling us that we may be a bit immature in our thoughts. And that's true because the next card here is a nine of swords. We're still struggling with our thoughts. We're still struggling with our thoughts. Wow, a whole heap of swords, eh? The ten of swords. We need to put an end to that immaturity. We need to put an end to that immaturity. In order for there to be a reunion. That's my reunion card right there. The Five of Swords. Some of us are thinking that our masculines are no longer coming back towards us. That there will be no reunion. But that's just our thoughts. Being immature. We haven't elevated the level of thinking. Page of Swords, a whole heap of sword. Truth, justice, movement. Eight of Cups. You're looking for movement. You're looking for change. You're keeping an eye on something that may have ended on someone who may have walked away from you. Some, something, a situation that may have ended with you, which is why you're thinking you're being disappointed. Because you're saying, whatever situation this is, it's done, it's over, it's completed. But you're still keeping an eye on this situation, on the person. This person is no longer around you. They have moved away. They have walked away. But that's because they are supposed to find something when they walk away. They're supposed to find something. Things will be revealed. 
to these persons who walked away. Wow. Man, what's happening with these swords? That's the truth, man. So you're keeping yourself trapped mentally. So this is mental entrapment. You are not elevating the level of thinking. First card is you being disappointed. That something is ended. That something is not coming around. You feel trapped. You feel like you can't do anything. Divine Feminines, with this Eight of Swords, you are putting yourself in some self-victimization here. You're the victim. This person walked away from you. This person ended things with you, so you're the victim. So you can think negative if you want to. Because this person ended things with you. This person walked away from you. So yes, you're the victim. That's what's in your head. That's what's in your thoughts. But that's just keeping you trapped. From building what it is that you deserve. From elevating, from rising. From overcoming those insecurities. Keeping yourself from that offer that wants to come in. You need to put in the work. You need to put in the work in order for you to get that blindfold off your eyes and stop being the victim. Stop playing the victim when in fact you're the leader. You're the guide. See this? The judgment in the reverse. You're losing hope. You're losing hope on this situation. Hope of something long term. Hope of this connection, hope of this reunion, hope of getting this love that you know that you deserve, that you have been longing for. This is something that you know that will last a lifetime, but it's not here, it's not around you. So you think you have lost it, you think they have walked away from you. You're still keeping an eye out, you're still looking out for this person, but at the same time, you're thinking that people should be sorry for me. People should listen to my rants. Because I'm the victim. I'm the one that got left. But that's not so. You got to put in the work. You're the leaders. You got to put in the work. If you want that communication, that communication is going to come in. But you got to put in the work. You're losing hope again because you don't think this thing is going to turn around. You are not aware of who you are. With the judgment in the reverse, that's a lack of self-awareness. You don't know who you are. You're not aware of your situation. You're not aware of your journey. You're not aware what you're capable of. You're not aware of what you can manifest. You're not aware. That's because you're keeping yourself blinded by looking back at the situation that ended instead of looking forward to raising your elevation to building your future to raising your vibration to transform to grow to connect spiritually so you can see everything clearly yeah you got to be planning for your life you got to make those plans you're going to set set forth See, that's why you're thinking like that. 
that this is not going to come together again because you've been left out in the cold. So you think that you're the victim here because you're the one in the cold. But you're put in the cold so that you can see clearly about what is coming your way. To realize that you're manifestors that you can create. Because with this, you see this mountain in the back? You see this castle here? This is the second time I'm talking about castles. You see this castle here that you should be building and it's not yet completed? And if you can see that, it's not yet completed. That's because you're keeping yourself trapped. You refuse to open your eyes. This life, this four of wands that you should be building. See now the castle is completed here in the background. Everything that you desire is behind those four of wands. And these two of wands that are here, that you already have. The passion, the desire, the drive that you are holding on to should allow you to move beyond, beyond this Eight of Swords. So you can complete everything and have this Four of Wands. This happy life, happy home that you so desire. This Ten of Pentacles. The seeds that you have planted will grow will grow they will grow because god is gonna allow it to grow god is gonna let it grow what you need to connect spiritually you need to connect with god you need to take those blindfolds off so you can clearly see what's happening in your situation what's going on with you what's happening in your life to see yourself, to be aware of who you truly are. You're the spiritual being right here. Strong, dedicated. And you don't even realize it because you're keeping yourself blindfolded. Now, if this message is for you, you'll know. If it's not, then you'll know too. You know. And if it's not for you, there's no reason for you to put it in the comments. You just watch it and go. We should always remember that not every message is going to be for us. Because... There's not just one, two, or three sets of twin flames out there. Hundreds of thousands. So not everybody's energy is going to be read all at once. So today, one energy. Tomorrow, next energy. The next day, the same energy might come back. Well, you'll know when it, if it's for you. Now let's see what it is that that your guys want to say to you in regards to this situation that you're going through here. This is messages from the big man upstairs, from God. Let's see what God wants to say to you in regards to this situation. Okay. You loving yourself makes me love you more. You need to wake up and realize that this journey is about self-love because whatever it is that you're looking back at here is something that you loved, something that ended, that you wanted. But you were pouring all yourself into this thing. That's why you're so hurt. That's why there's so many swords, because you were in love. And you were giving that love to that person or that thing. 
But you need to give it to yourself so you can unwrap yourself, unravel yourself from all those traps. Get rid of jealousy. Some of us have jealousy issues. Where sometimes every time we see something happening with the person that we are with. We immediately think that this person is cheating. That this person doesn't love you, doesn't want you. And that's an issue that some of us need to clear. And now know my self-worth. That's the energy that you should get into. Know yourself. Know your self-worth. Put that love into you. Forgiveness is needed. To forgive is to heal. So if you want to heal the situation that has ended here, you got to learn to forgive. Number one, and that's how you let go when you forgive. If you can forgive, then you will not be able to let go of the past. You will not be able to let go of hurt or of pain. And then you'll be stuck. You'll still be stuck because you cannot forgive. And when you forgive, that's when you start to heal and then you start to find your true self. To be strong, you have to first stand up. Get out of that mentality. Get out of this. You got to get out of this. Forgive. Look past all this hurt and all that pain. Know that you're meant for something greater. And move forward. With God, all things are possible. That's just, just what I said to you. We need to be more spiritual here. We need to start thinking more spiritually. Because that's what is going to bind this connection. That's going to bring this connection back around. Spirituality. Some of us need to break away from tradition. And tradition here, what I'm getting is that it's things that we are used to doing. Things that we are... It's permanent within us because we've done it so many times. We've done it so many times. We, we've kept ourselves trapped so many times in, in different relationships, in different situations, in our family setting. We allow things to happen to us over and over and over because we're not learning the lesson that we should learn, knowing that we should be moving on. Forgive, let it go, move on, and find yourself. Do things for yourself. Help yourself. God is the master of your life and this journey. So you want to heal it? That's who you're going to call upon. Love yourself. How can you love others if you can't love yourself? So you need to get up out of that mentality. You know that victim mentality. See? Put that ego aside. That's ego for real. That's ego for real. I'm right. That person is wrong. That person left me. So I should be the one getting all the sympathy, all the love, all the care. You should be paying attention to me. That's your ego. Thinking that you had no part to play in this separation. You need to balance your energy. That's for sure. Seek God's guidance, not your own. As I was saying, God's the master of this life, of your life and this journey. You gotta seek His guidance. This is a spiritual journey. Walk away from disrespect. Disrespect is not acceptable. So you should know yourself to know that, or to know when you're being disrespected, to know when you're being mistreated, to walk away from it, no matter how much you love that person. No matter how much that person said that they love you, whether it's a family member, whether it's a lover, whether it's a friend, learn to let it go because you deserve love. And if you're not getting it, you should leave that situation alone. You're the leader. Step up. 
The, the Divine Feminine is a leader of this Twin Flame journey. And if you keep yourself in this entrapment, your masculine will also be trapped too, not knowing where to go, not knowing which direction to take. Because you're blinded, you can't see. You can't see. So give me some love advice here, please, Romance Angels. Give me some love advice. Give me some advice in regards to love for these divine feminines, please. Give your relationship a chance. You got to work on your partnership. You got to get out of that energy. And again, the castle in the background. Your home that's waiting for you. The love that's waiting for you. It's there in the horizon. But you can't see it because you're keeping yourself blinded, keeping yourself stuck. Let go of control issues. Let the situation unfold naturally. If it fell apart, let it fall apart. Let it fall apart. <laughs> Just trusting in God, that God knows what he's doing. Finances and careers, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So maybe both you and your Divine Masculine need to go work on your abundance, need to go work on your finances. Because when you two are together, when you're finally together, you're going to need money. Your Masculine's going to need money. Both of you have families. Both of you have yourself that you need to take care of. You're going to need to get that castle together. You're going to need to maintain that castle. So you both got to get your finances in order. What do they say? The ducks in a row. Two, two, two. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Show your love. And you don't have to be telling your masculine, I love you, I love you. You show your love by giving it to yourself. Give that love to yourself and your masculine will feel it. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. There you go. Because now you got to focus on you. Now you have to heal. Now you've got to find yourself. Now you've got to find who you truly are. And you can't do that with all the chaos around you. All the different advice from people who do not understand your situation. Go within, find the answer. That's where you'll find God too. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Your friends are your guides. Those who understand you. Ask for the help and accept it. When you're receiving the help, don't try to control the issue and try to take over and try to do things your way because it's something starts to happen now. I'm getting a message. I'm getting a phone call. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to know. Let them help you. Let them work it out. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. It's not going to die. See, flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Be fun. Be courageous. You are not yet within your castle. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy yourself. So you are in separation. 2442. Reflection. 
some of us may be going through separation right now and some of us we are also going to be experiencing more separations with our person because if it's a twin flame journey there's going to be more than one separation and when you heal and you heal one thing then there will be other separations so you can heal something else healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. See, there are things that you need to heal, that you need to get rid of, that you need to change. Things from the past that you need to heal. Things that you have been carrying around within your soul, within your heart. You need to heal the, that situation, get rid of it. Heal your childhood, your inner childhood. You can't do anything about the past. You can't change it. But you can make yourself feel better by loving yourself, forgiving yourself, moving on, forgiving those from your past who may have hurt you in the past and move on. See, again, really just factors, those things that you're used to. See, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So there are some of the things that you're going through, as I said, are the things that you have practiced over and over from relationship to relationship that you have not gotten right. Maybe it's the way that you act. Maybe it's that you always believe somebody's trying to hurt you. Somebody will hurt you. Somebody is cheating. Somebody lied to you. When in fact, maybe you're the one who didn't understand. You're the one who allowed yourself to be in that situation because you say you love this person. Those wounds you have to heal. Some of us, it's definitely that there are two different religions here. That you have to learn to look past certain things. And realize that someone's belief is their belief and you cannot put somebody down because of their belief some of us we have a lot of wounds to clear the heart to heart conversation that conversation is going to be had don't force it do not force the, the conversation There's going to be a time where you guys can discuss your feelings honestly. And again, let go of control issues. We are trying to control this situation. We're trying to control this situation. When we can't, because this is a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. And it will fall apart in spiritual time. It will come back together in spiritual time. Okay, seeing... Seeing clear your space and I'm seeing divine timing, divine order. Okay, Archangels, give me some messages here from your guides, please. For your your <laughs> for the divine feminine, please. Oh wow. Oh, give me some messages here for your divine feminine, please. Korea transition. Archangel Shamuel, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So, Divine Feminines. If you're a true Divine Feminine, you'll be able to look around you and see the difference. The changes that you are making because of the situation that you found yourself in that has ended. And you'll be able to see how things are changing around you and how Things are leading to things that's going to elevate you instead of having your eyes closed, being tied up so you can't see anything, you can't hear anything because you're so focused on the pain inside. Beloved one, Archangel Shamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. See, this is spiritual. 
the angels are helping you it's going to take some patience creative writing archangel gabriel make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book that's a form of manifestation manifest your desires by writing down your thoughts writing down your desires writing down that big old castle that you want writing down that love that you want to come back to you overcoming difficulties and the divine order that I saw Archangel Jeremiel the worst is now behind you and you're surmounting any previous challenges so this challenge of you losing this love in the background the difficulties the challenges that you have faced in the past you're overcoming those you're overcoming those because Divine Feminine, some of us, we've taken that blindfold off and we are moving forward. Looking at things from a different perspective. So we can see exactly what's happening around us. And we can see that we are overcoming those difficulties. And every aspect of our life is changing and heading for the better. And you have Divine Order, Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. You got to open your eyes to see. Look past the illusion that this has ended. Look past the illusion that you're tied up, that you feel trapped. That's just an illusion. This is the love of a lifetime, a spiritual compart. I don't know why I'm saying compartment. I don't know, maybe somebody has something in a, in a compartment there. That they keep looking at. But this person is your spiritual companion. That's never going to leave you. But you got to open your eyes to see that everything is exactly the way that it's supposed to be. So everything that belongs to you will come in. All is well baby. I love when these two come out man. Archangel Jeremy, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. See, everything is in divine timing. Compassion, Archangel Zadkiel. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So you got to soften your heart. You got to get those swords out. You got to forgive. You got to let it go. And of course, as I said, forgiving yourself. Look at this. Life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. All that's unbalanced. You not knowing yourself, not knowing who you are. You focusing. Because this with this page of swords, it keeps looking back at the ten of, of swords that has ended before. And not seeing the changes that are happening around them. Okay, final messages from the big man. Let's see. Retreat from the outside world. See, another thing telling you to go within. And we already have retreat here. So we definitely need to find who we truly are, who we truly are, so we can excel on this journey. The rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. All that you're experiencing, all that you're going through, is to not only help yourself, but to help others around you. And everything has its time. Everything has its time. Corporation and partnership bring great rewards. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. You gotta forgive, you gotta open up your heart. Three, four, four, four. So you can welcome this 
partnership that's going to bring you great rewards, that castle, that that's castle in the sky, right? Reflect God's compassion. Be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. You got to learn to forgive. You got to learn to let go. Focus on your blessings. Focus on what you have. Look around you instead of keeping focus on what you don't have. See, You're looking at what you don't have. That's not showing appreciation. That's not loving yourself. Focus on what you do have. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. And that's a 911. So I hope you're paying attention. Focus on your blessing. When you give God thanks for what you have instead of what you don't have, more will be added onto you because God sees that you appreciate what he has given to you. God sees that you appreciate what you have and you're not focusing on what you don't have. Move boldly into a golden future. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Exactly. Give it to God. Let God guide you. Whoa! I split the deck. I tell you, God is awesome, man. When God wants his messages to come out, who can stop it? God will lead the way. They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's spirit. So you're going to amaze people. With all your changes, all your, all your blessings, because God is leading your way. But you got to take those blindfolds off. And most importantly, you got to forgive. You got to open up your heart. Nothing, and I say this, and I say it, because that's what I'm here for. To let you know what's going on with you. Nothing will start to happen for you. Nothing. You will forever be stuck in your miserable old soul until you are able to forgive those who hurt you and move on. So you're looking for your masculine to come back, but you can't forgive this person. He's not coming back. You're looking for your masculine to come back, but you're holding on to the pain that this person caused you. They're not going to come back. And I'm, as I'm always saying to you, it's about choices. You got to choose and choose wisely. Make your choice. Do you want to hold on to that pain and hurt? And stay stuck in your miserable old life? Or you want to let go, open up your heart, forgive yourself. Forgive those around you who have hurt you. Live like Christ would want you to live. Because we are learning to be Christ-like, to give out unconditional love. And if you have that much hurt and pain twisting up your heart, there's no space for love. So you choose. Thank you all for being here. I love you guys. And thank you all for your support. If you would like a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. If you would like to purchase my book, Are You a Twin Flame? to help you figure out if you are a true twin flame, if you're dealing with a twin flame person, how to let go of the hurt and pain, what to do if your person is in another relationship. How to help yourself to grow, to align yourself for union, then that's the book for you. The link is the same link to my website. And please support my masculine channel so I can get the masculines to find this channel. And thanks for all the masculines who are supporting this Twin D channel. I appreciate you guys. And that's why I started that channel, so you'll have a space for yourself also, so you can see what's happening with your feminines. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I love you all. See you later.
because I will be doing the the letter spray tonight. It's Wednesday. Take care of yourself, guys. Love you all. Later.